Welcome to this episode of Strike King's Protein Journal. Mark Menendez here with you on one of my most special place in the world that I get to come. Hey, we're here in Western Kentucky, sportsman's paradise. I've got a duck hunting place right here behind me. Big giant deer live here and great big bass live here in Western Kentucky as well. Very close to the proximity of the Ohio River and Mississippi River where they meet. So we've got all kinds of weather today. It has been Chamber of Commerce for months here and now the biggest front of the year is coming through. So I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen here. We're gonna be power fishing. It's kind of a lost art, We've not thought about much. All we think about is finesse and light line and things, but not today. We've got big boy games here. We got big square bills, big spinner baits, jigs, tubes, stuff you haven't seen in a while. And I think that's what we're gonna have big success on here today. Menendez on Pro Team Journal here with you and doggone, we have some unique conditions today. A major storm front, one of the first of the late fall coming in. Big wind, heavy rain, and it's put these fish on the feed bag. So power fishing was my selection. I wasn't going to dink around with a little spinner rod, a big spinner bait, a big heavy jig, tube lure, anything I could, square bill, to, to make those fish move. What a cool place. I've got one of my favorite baits, a half ounce hack attack spinner bait, a big heavy bodied bait. Spinner baiting can be done in two ways, burning it back up on the surface high in the water column, or just where I can't see those blades flash. That's where I always catch great big ones, so that's why I've chosen the big hack attack today. Now, this is a unique place that we have so much cover. Standing timber is something I don't see often in Western Kentucky, but I encounter it on a tournament trail quite a bit. So you have to look for something that's a little, there's a first bite of the morning. That didn't take long, something a little different. Something a little different. Yeah, that one will grow up and be big one of these days. Give me a pair of pliers, done. Number one rule with a spinnerbait is that little guy right there. That's fish insurance. A trailer hook is always on my spinnerbait. It causes a little havoc in cover like this, but that little fish got that spinnerbait or got the trailer hook right there on that cast. I catch 60% of the fish I catch just on that trailer hook right there. That is always on when I've got a spinnerbait on a tight on. a better fish right there. He came off that bigger stump. Get up in here. Uh -huh. It's a trailer hook kind of day. It's two for two on a trailer hook. Well, let's go for the trifecta. Three casts in a row. Let's see. Okay, we're going to throw it right there. But your job as an angler is to read the road map. It's a big puzzle with all this timber. And within the timber, you'll start figuring out little idiosyncrasies. Either they'll be on the biggest stump they can be on, they'll be on something laying down in the water. 
it may be a combination. I've seen where multiple combinations of trees next to each other is what the better fish get on. But that's our job is to read that timber to figure out where and what and how and get that road map and they'll tell us. They'll tell us before the day's over. I mean, the sun's not even up good yet. We're gonna have a big front pushing through here, so a moving bait is perfect on a day like today. This much wind, dark skies, it's a perfect spinnerbait day. When you have these big major weather events coming, it lowers the barometric pressure. That makes the bass a lot more active. Secondary to that, bass still can't wear sunglasses and they don't have eyelids like we do. So low overcast days, the fish are very active. They're always roaming, they're always hunting. So it just makes your opportunity to catch fish so much better and better fish, big fish. Um, these, are, these are the days when big fish know they better get them a bite to eat because weather behind the front is not gonna be that good. It's gonna be high and blue and high pressure and um, they're not gonna bite much. So they're gonna get them a bite to eat before the front comes through. Doggone it, if I only had one lure, one lure I could throw the rest of my life, it would have to be a spinnerbait. I can fish it from the surface down to 30 feet deep very easily. So a spinnerbait was my number one choice when I looked at the lake and I saw that I had relatively dingy water, heavy, shallow cover. It was, it was a no-brainer for me to pick up that spinnerbait. Right at the side of the boat, right at the, I mean, I don't have any line out hardly. That is the most beautiful thing about a spinnerbait. Come on up here, big one. It's that slow motion strike that you get. That one, I saw him coming and it was just like, all I can see is mouth on him. And again, the old trailer hook got him. These fish are a little bit lethargic, but I love that bite. It's just the whole world goes into slow motion when you see the spinnerbait coming. And all you see is a mouth behind him. That's such a good bite, such a good bite. And I'm trying to cover it from every angle. When I find a piece of cover like that, that's horizontal and not vertical in, in this world where everything's straight up and down with all the timber, I really take my time and pick it apart and different angles, different baits, because those will hold multiple fish. And the other general rule, is when you, and I, and I don't care what time of year, what type of bait you're fishing, whether you're a little peanut, what type of bait you're fishing, um, I, make another cast and you will be rewarded more times than not with more fish. So I'm gonna make that cast again. Bass are social creatures and, and they like to hang out with their buddies. I can't tell you how many times on a tournament trail, catch one over there on that stump, reel in, catch him in, make another pitch there, and get rewarded with two, three, four, five fish sometimes. But that's always a rule. Don't put that size 10 on that trolling motor and go on down the bank too fast because you may be leaving some fish behind you. You'll learn during the day's time what the proper speed is to put on that trolling motor, but don't get in a big hurry when you first get out here. What did I say? Man, that fish was inches of water. He had another fish with him. That's old big one right there, old big headed fish. Come here. He's got that little spinner right where he can't even move. Well, you're not even gonna play fair, are you? That's all right, we'll let you go real quick. Golly. Now, I mean, that, it, it's not that deep. How was a decent fish like that? up there that deep. Pretty simple. This is a rage grub. You can see it's got that big flange right there. That's what catches that water and really pulses. Gives it that shad look. I like the tail up 99 times out of 100. I want that tail up. So I'm gonna rig this just like this. Slide it up on the hook of the spinnerbait. Come through about three quarters of the way down. And then I want that tail up. That becomes almost like a rudder. 
and it keeps that spinner bait. You want your spinner bait running this way. You don't want it running left or right. That helps keep that um, in that manner. Then I take my trailer hook, I slide it over, and then I put my little keeper with the keeping device on there, which is nothing but a piece of plastic, pop it on. Now that trailer hook is free swinging. I prefer a free swinging trailer hook rather than one that has um, the eye cover where that stays in, in the manner. Like that free swinger, any way that fish comes, any direction he comes to get it, I have a better chance of getting him. That catches a lot of bass for me like that. I saw that one get him in a, threw it right in his mouth. Threw it right in his mouth. I saw that fish move. Stay down there, fella. Trailer hook caught fish right there. Come on, get on up in here. Big old long joker right there. Got him. Good old fish right there. See if he's got a pal. I've been fortunate enough to work with Strike King for over 20 years now. And, and when I got to Strike King, doggone, we had the premier wire baits. We made the best spinner baits. We made great buzz baits. But the rest of our selection was coming. We were developing crankbaits. We were developing soft plastics, developing topwaters. But the spinner bait heritage of, of Strike King is, is, is second to none. The amount of events that have been won on a Strike King spinnerbait over the years show the dedication and the, the craft of the lure. I'll have to go in a plan B here. Oh, he missed it. Boy, that's a good one. That was a good one. He never touched it. That cast. That's a good one right there. Come out of there. Ah, that's the fish that rolled on my goods right there. Hell, come here. Is that all you gonna give me? I thought that was gonna be a good one. That couldn't be that old fish. Big old long lanky fish, another trailer hook fish. He flashed on it once, and didn't get it. It's gotta be another fish right there. Gotta be another fish right there. Got me in that log and I thought I had a gigantor there. We're okay. Oh, there's a the, back to back. That's a good one there. That's a big fish there. Bigger anyway. Yeah. Old big fish is in. Well, he ate the whole thing. Oh, man, got him all the way back. I got him double hooked. All right, we're gonna go for number three off of one piece of cover. That's what you'll find in the fall. You'll find them grouped up. I still say there's another fish right there. Wow. I mean, they are tight, that log. Now then, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this one. Yeah. Come here, come here. That's a good one right there. Big old mouth on you. Come here, hack attack. You attacked it, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Fall fish, multiple fish on one piece of cover. How about that? There's a goodie. Big old giant. what will happen in the fall you'll find one piece of cover and it'll have three or four you may go all day and only get that one opportunity for multiples but that was three good ones. Whoa, that one came off doggone it that was a good one that's four bites right there that one just plowed it like a bulldog i'm dying to drop a jig in there just to slow it down a little bit. If I can get them on spinner bait, I love it, love it that way too. That was a good one right there too. I gotta throw that old wobble plug, that old 4.0 down there. There he is. 
That's a good one. Nah, he's not either. He showed himself. Could stand that old wobble plug. Oh, 4.0. Love that big plug. Love that big plug. You know, bait selection was imperative with the weather conditions that we had. Sometimes when you're using a spinner bait, they'll swirl at it and not get it. They'll carry momentum when they go after that bait and they'll be in the area looking for whatever the heck just went by that they tried to eat. So I picked up a tube, a four and a half inch Denny Brower flipping tube and flipped in behind there to get some key bites as well. A tube is a great bait in the fall just because of its profile. The water temperatures are falling. We had 62, 63 degree water down from uh, 68 here the other day and they just won't bite a jig sometimes. They, won't, they don't want that big full meal deal. They want that little Snickers, Snickers bar uh, kind of profile and that tube fits that very well oh my goodness how about that one up there tight to that piece of cover good bass right there darn good bass right there I mean he bit that and was gone get up here now that's an old-timey good one look you there what this one ate when's the last time you caught one on a big old tube old flipping tube in the fall, it's an awfully good choice. That one was buck naked shallow right there. You know, when the weatherman tells you that the weather's gonna be ugly, I'm going fishing because we get those conditions that those fish are going to be moving and active. I know we don't always get to do that with our nine to five jobs and our only day that we get to go fishing is on Saturday or Sunday on the weekend, but don't be afraid of those conditions. Rough weather can really enhance the fishing, but you have to be smart about it too. One of the things I always do in rough weather conditions is I always tell my wife where I'm going to be. I pick a section of the lake and I stay in that section. I don't make a run 25 miles down there, um, 40 miles north, whatever it is, but I stay in that section and work in that section. Oh, there he is. Another nice bass. Oh, two biters. We just had the first major front of the year blow through here. And you can see this is the back edge of the front. We had wind, rain. Temperature hasn't changed much, but I expect it to get cooler on the back side of this. Lights coming up, it's getting bright, and the fish evidently have gotten pretty tight to cover, which they may have been this morning as well, and just not willing to come get our spinnerbait. So I've picked up the old fall staple, old Denny Breyer flipping tube, and they have bit it really well since I've gotten back on the water. You know, one of the things I do in the fall with a tube is I put a rattle in it. Hear that little deep rattle? What I'll do, just wet it, run it up into the head of the tube. Now this flipping tube has a hard head up here. So it, it won't interfere with the hook. The tube is shoved as far up into the head as I can get it right now. So then I take this hook, this hybrid gamakatsu hook, come in the top right there, come out about a quarter inch, slide it up to the J bend of the hook, pull it over the eye of the hook. Now, I lay this hook in here just like this to measure. Then I bend the tube over, bend it double, come through the back end of it, gather a little bit more plastic right there to cover the point of the hook. So now it's tech exposed. Golly, I mean, he's got me handcuffed. That wild thing. I mean, that's a good one. Come here, big dog. You are mine. You are mine. Yes. Oh, he's not mine. Join us next time for another Strike King Pro Team Journal. Maybe it'll turn out a little better than that did. 
but we've enjoyed showing you how to catch fish today on today's show. See you next time. You know, after 33 years on the Bassmaster Tournament Trail and 15 years of tournament fishing prior to that, I still love fishing. F figuring that puzzle out, a gut feeling, an intuition, just thinking about fishing, it, it, it consumes me. My wife says, I've never seen anybody addicted to one thing as you are fishing. I'm always watching, I'm always reading, I'm always trying to figure out a new way to get those fish to react to me. What are you doing, Roy? Is this your morning constitutional? Yep. <laughs> Next time on Pro Team Journal. There's one. Oh, now you need. Oh, did you see that? You need, did you see that? As soon as you get this fish, look at that. Oh my yeah. goodness. This one too. Ooh. How can you not love that? You gotta hold your mouth just right. Throw it way out there. Get up there and go on. <laughs> get out of my way. You, you turd. <laughs> Mark, you ready to go fishing? Man, I'm ready. We're a long ways from home. <laughs> I heard that. This the kind of way you can contain. Yeah, this might be something lethal. You can really see the flames. Feeling like it's borderline insane. Yeah, this might be something lethal. Yeah, this might be something lethal. Man, this is a treat for me, y'all. Folks, But this is my hero right here. Early on in my fishing days, when I got started fishing, Mark was somebody I looked up to. He's always just been a gentleman and a, a great ambassador for the sport. And I am enjoying the opportunity to get to go fishing with you today, buddy. Absolutely. We're in Northern Michigan. We're on Mullet Lake. I know nothing about Mullet Lake. It's gonna be a great show because the fans are gonna get to see it just as real as real can be. It's as real as it gets right here. But we gotta figure out how to catch them. Well, let's go do it. Let's, let's go. Quit talking and go fishing. All right, let's go get after it.